Hello and welcome back to our series Onyx Financial Track. This is Ultimate Academy's team and this will be lecture number five. Our topic for this lecture is going to be um, system inputs and we will discuss the following screens, chart of accounts, cost centers, interface accounts, other debit and credit accounts. We'll start with um, chart of accounts. This screen is basically for adding all kinds of accounts that a company needs and you can use this screen in two ways. Either by importing the accounts from an Excel sheet which is very convenient because it allows the user to upload or import all the accounts that he needs at first. We'll click on add, then um, related screens, then choose import from Excel. This screen comes up where you can choose the Excel path. When you click on import, it will populate a browser basically of the files on your computer. Select the Excel path, open it, and click on import from Excel. Then we will select the uh, Excel sheet and the system will read the contents um, or all the data that you have in that Excel sheet. By the way, um, if you take a look at the text in red, the system already lays out the process of how to create a chart of accounts sheet and the system reads in that order which is account number, currency, accounts, name, uh, etc. You will also find four important notes. First of all, the system will read starting the second row on your Excel sheet because the first row is basically a header. And the second note is that you have to enter the types of accounts and reports as well. The third note is that you have to encode the debit and credit accounts, mark the debit with number one and the credit account with a zero so the system can differentiate basically between both. If you've made a mistake while creating your chart of accounts, the system will actually help you find that mistake and fix it as well. Back to creating the chart of accounts, we've already covered how to do that using an Excel sheet. Now the second way to create your chart, your chart of accounts is using the actual screen. Click on add, then you will start filling in the info. So the first field we have is parent account. For example, if the user wanted to create the assets account, then the parent account will be zero because assets is the first account of its type. Account number will be uh, number one if we're still creating the assets account. Type down assets account in the account name. For name, of course, is the name in any other language other than the system's language. Moving on to account classification. The drop down menu contains the options that we've already added from the chart of accounts setup screen. Type is either um, main or sub, which we've also specified in the chart of accounts setup screen. If we choose main, then it won't be affected by the, tr the transactions, so the system won't need uh, lots of details about that account. But if we chose sub, however, we'll find new required fields in the screen, like account detail type, account analysis, and um, the window on the bottom right, which is related to currency flow type which is three options that are already in the system by default. Accounts group can be added from the chart of accounts setup screen but um, we, haven't really ha we haven't really added any data for that one because we mentioned in the previous lecture that we used the tree method to create the chart of accounts instead of group or bulk but if you are using the group method though you should have already added your groups in the chart of accounts setup screen. If you've already added them, you'll find them in this drop down menu. So moving on to account details, detail types, and they are seven. Uh, they're set by default in the system to identify what the account was created for. Let's give an example. If we have four accounts and we chose bank for each one of them, then if we wanted to make transactions on bank accounts, then the system will automatically show us or uh, view these four accounts as we have identified them to be bank related. Related Account analysis is to help us basically tell the system which detailed analysis is the account related to. Use cost center. So this field is activated based on the general setup that we chose in the common parameters screen 
which contains three choices. Now, these choices are not used, and um, this option means that the cost center will not be used with this account. Optional, which means that the cost center will be optional with this account in the transactions. If we chose mandatory, however, then that means that you will have to record the cost center in the transactions related to this account. Alright, so the next field is um, use projects and that also will be activated based on the general setup that we chose in the common parameter screen. If in common parameters we chose not to use use projects, then this option will be dimmed out. Level is for the accounts level. Now, the most important note in this field is to assign level 6 to sub-accounts just as we specified in the common parameter screen. The field after that is account nature and it's to define whether the account type is debit or credit. Report type and that one is to specify the reports on which the value of this account will appear. The choices in the drop-down menu are the ones that we have already specified in the um, chart of accounts setup screen. The following field is flow type and it contains three choices, operator, investment, and finance. Last confirmation date field is where the system automatically shows you uh, the last date a confirmation was made on this account. The section that we see on the bottom right here is related to the currency used for this account. If we chose more than one currency, we can deactivate any of the currencies by checking the inactive box. And if we check the favorite accounts box on the left, then this screen will be added to your favorite screens for easier access in the future without you having to go through the system screen, uh, the system tree, I'm sorry. Use tax deduct source is related to deductible taxes. Now we'll move on to cost centers. We'll bring up the screen and through the screen, the user can add the cost centers according to a company's financial policy and management. We can use the screen in two different ways, either directly through the screen or using an Excel sheet to import the data. So if you're going to use an Excel sheet, click on add, then we'll click on this icon here. Um, a screen will pop up as you can see, top of the screen, you will see the Excel path where you determine the Excel path that you're choosing. We'll click on this icon on the right, then we'll choose the Excel path from this window and click on import path. After that, you'll be able to select the Excel sheet, which contains all your cost centers data similar to the previous screen the system will generally help you create your excel sheet for cost centers now the second way to use the screen is like we said by directly using the screen's features so to start with in cost center number field the user will enter the cost centers ordinal number in main cost center we enter the main cost centers number and of course, we will type down the cost center's name in the designated field. And we have already established that um, in foreign name, we will enter the name of the cost center in any different language. And of course, that field is optional. As we see here, we have two tabs, cost center and additional fields. Additional fields are basically just added fields in case you needed to enter any additional data. And in cost center type, I'm sorry, in cost center tab, we have the level which the system automatically fills in. And type is where you can find the cost centers type which you have already defined in the cost center setup screen in system setup. The two types that we have at the moment are main and sub. If we chose main, the system will not require any further data. However, if the user chooses sub, then additional fields will come up and the system will require further data entry. Like for example, um, cost center group, which as well contains the options that we've put in the cost center setup screen. And if you check the inactive box, 
then you clearly will deactivate this cost center and the system will show you the date that you checked that box and an inactive reason as well you can type down the reason why you have deactivated um, why you have deactivated this cost center for documentation purposes the following two screens that we have in the system tree will be covered in onyx financial track we'll look at them right now so it's administrative structure and employee details moving on to uh, the interface account screen so from the screen you can add the interface accounts for the company's branches individually or separately click on add then select the branch from the branch drop down menu this drop down menu will obviously only contain the branches that you have already added from the branches detail screen then we have four tabs the first one is interface accounts which contains all the interface accounts related to the branch itself like currency difference loss and excessive items notes payable fraction difference uh, fraction difference account cost center interface account taxes value accounts for sales and taxes VAT account for purchases or taxes VAT. To enter data in these fields, click on the field, then hit F9, and a window will pop up which contains all the account that all the accounts that exist within the chart of accounts. Alright, so we currently don't have a recorded account for currency difference, so you will need to go to chart of account screen to create this account and then go back here, hit F9 and choose that account. Alright, so the following tab is also called interface accounts and it is for the branches transactions with other branches. Uh, so to enter data in these fields, you will use the same method as the previous tab. All right, so payroll tab um, is for the payroll interface account for the branch's employees. Assets tab is for the interface accounts to add assets accounts, capital profit, and loss accounts for assets as well. And to add data or for data entry, we will still use the same method that we used in the previous tabs. And that's basically everything for the screen. The screen following it in the system tree is going to be um, explained as well in Onyx HR track. Before we get into the next three, th three screens, there is a side note that these screens are for preparing the other credit and other debit accounts to be used in the transactions. The first screen is link other credit and debit. Through the screen, we can link each account with its type, whether it's other credit or other debit. We'll click on add, first of all. Link number is automatically filled according to the right order. Local name is where we type in the link's name, foreign name, in, in any other language, basically. All right, so we can determine the account number in its field by clicking on F9 and we will choose the account from the accounts that we've already established. All right, as we can see here, we have no data at the moment to choose from. Um, account detail type will come up automatically according to this piece of data that we've determined in the chart of account screen. We'll bring up the chart of account screen to see how to change the accounts detail data. We'll go to um, liabilities, first of all, and then current liabilities, other credit accounts, insurance for others, and then supplier warranties. To change, of course, the um, account detail type. All right, so we chose other credit and of course we'll save before we exit the screen so that the change would reflect. Here we go. So yeah, that covers everything basically um, for the screen. 
And as you can see, the change that we've made is reflected as well. The screen that we will explain next is other debit and credit accounts groups. And in this screen, we can divide the links that we've added in the previous screen into groups. After you click on add, you will select the links number from the link number field. Then account detail type will be filled in automatically according to the previously entered data in the chart of account screen. Local name and foreign name uh, and account number will be filled in automatically according as well to the data that we've entered in the previous screen. And in group code, we add the group's ordinal number. Then you'll need to enter the group's name and the foreign name as well. All right. And the last screen that we have in system inputs is other debit and credit accounts. Of course, you'll click on add, first of all. Select from detail account the type of the account, either debit or credit. And in group link, uh, I'm sorry, in group code, you will click on F9 to view the list of groups that you've already created in the previous screen. After you've selected the group, the account number will appear automatically. In the bottom tab, you'll see detail account where we enter the number of the account in which all the transactions will occur. Fill in, of course, local and foreign name, as we've learned. All right, and the currencies in the box are the currencies that we have selected for this account in the chart of account screen. Let's get into that box's details. The checkboxes on the left are for selecting the currency used, and the checkboxes on the right are for deactivating a currency. The inactive box on the left is for deactivating this account, and if you check the favorite account checkbox, then this account will be saved in your favorites. This is basically everything for this lecture. Thank you so much for listening. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you in the next lecture.